Welcome to Sports Circle 345. This is a place where we discuss track and field in its entirety. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. You will be helping the Sports Circle 345 community. Now let's get straight to the video. It's now 2023 and Tia and Tina first year as professional athletes. They have signed last year with Nike, one of the largest sports companies in the world. According to reports, training at the MVP camp seems to be going fairly well. It's interesting to see these girls up against the big guns like Shelly Ann Fraser, Elaine Thompson, Sharika Jackson, Brianna Williams, Kevona Davis, Kemba Nelson and others. Jamaica's depth in female track and field is one of the best in the world, if not the best at the moment. We boast at least five to six world-class international track and field stars. Tina Clayton, on the other hand, have proven that she is a superstar. A superstar indeed in the making. She has proven that in 2021 and in 2022. Tina Clayton, born August 18, 2004, have won gold medals for both the 100 meters and 4 by 100 meters relay at the 2021 and 2022 under 20 championships. Clayton set a championship record in an individual event in 2022, while Jamaican women relay team broke the 100 under 20 record on both occasions with times of 42.94 and 42.59 respectively. Clayton raced earlier this week, her first race for 2023. She took part in the 400 meter race but finished in a pretty pedestrian time of 1 minute 0.06 seconds. Tia and Tina Clayton will be up against it from the sound of the gun. Now they are running with the big girls, therefore they have to pull out all the stops to make sure that they cement their place. I think Tina Clayton will give a good account of herself. Tia also, they are world class athletes, they have proven that they are no fluke, they are no joke. We need to just support them and throw everything behind them as they progress to become world champions. Sports Circle 345. Stick with the channel for news, views and reviews. God bless you. Peace out.